and uh, today we've got something a little different. I, uh, <laughs> I was encouraged to make this skin for the uh, rubber duck from uh, uh, Convoy, so I did. Um, I've got to get going. This is an urgent delivery. Uh, we'll look at the truck a little bit when we can here and there, but uh, it's, I've configured it pretty authentically. Um, single exhaust, single air breather, I don't know what the uh, real truck had in it for a transmission, but I should have checked actually. So I put a 10 speed in anyway, just thinking there's, well, there's no way he had an 18 speed in it. It probably had a Mac Tranny in it, and they're usually, uh, you know, 8 or 10, 12 speeds or something, so I just went with a 10 speed. I hope it works out okay for us. It's this is motor, it's the uh, the END uh, what is it again? Uh oh. Put it in the wrong gear. <laughs> I got to uh it's been a while since I drove a ten speed. I used to own one. I got lots and lots and lots of hours on one. <laughs> Well, I used to drive in the 13 or 18 speed so much. I just got to remember what I'm doing here. So this is uh, Z mods. Uh, Mac ENDT, I think it is uh, 676. And uh, yeah, what we're doing is we got a fuel load on here. And we're taking the fuel to the new logging site in Troy that uh, Recon Lobster made. So we're going to get to go um, up the mountain or the opposite direction anyway, which I'm really looking forward to. See, you notice a lot bigger jump between the gears. So I'm going to be really, uh, you know, you won't be able to find that speed you really want to go on a on that mountain, I think we're probably going to be getting it in a fairly low gear and leaving it there. There's such a jump in ratios. And this... This transmission I chose actually has a... a really uh, uh, short first gear. So what that does is makes the jump between all of the gears bigger. If I had a if I had a transmission with a, a pretty tall first gear, all my ratios would be closer together. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it's what it is. I'm oh, ready to get run over here. We got to get this thing going. Somebody coming up behind us. Let's check the Jake on this. Oh, that's nice, Jake. Looks like this gets tighter and tighter as we go here. Guess that they were trying to tell us on that sign back there. Got to wind it up a little more than I like, but I don't know anything about these engines. I don't know what they, uh, what you want to run them to. Try uh, 1800. 
And we come right back down to about 1300, so 500 RPM drop between gears. That's huge. Ah, hey, we got up to 70 miles an hour, 10th gear. Throw the cruise on here. So actually, let's go 75 because uh, it is urgent. Oh man, look what I overlooked putting in here. I don't have a CB radio. <laughs> and I'm supposed to be doing convoy. Well, rubber duck is using smoke signals here. I heard. That's not good. Oh, look at us doing a slow motion drag race here. That's going to upset the people behind us, if there's anybody. Uh, looks like we got one of the uh, classic truck pack uh, trucks up here. By those pipes, I'd say it's a cab over. Uh, he's going to be Yeah. Oh, this is so cool. It's uh, all on fuel up here. Such a good idea. I'm glad Recon did it. Boy, he's really making boost now. If we had a boost gauge, uh, it'd be pinned. So if you didn't know, uh, the truck is a freebie. Uh, it's Harv and Smack R from uh, the workshop. And the dealing uh, R700 conversion, because the um, Harvins version is an R600, has a shorter hood, and so uh, dealing made the uh, the 700 hood, and you can have single or dual lights, um, and uh, a sleeper, and that's an add-on as well. And payment is optional. It's one of those things like the retro development wheels. You log into the the mod or whatever, and it'll have a payment option. You can, if you don't want to pay anything, you put zero. If you like contributing, contribute contribute what you feel you can, and uh, download the mod. Good time to get a look at this truck while we're on the highway. I put uh, vintage Smarties, uh, the old five hole Alcoas on the back, just to give it a bit of a time warp feel. And uh, I got the, uh, as far as I can tell, the uh, rubber duck truck had uh, uh, steelies on it, two hole, two hole steel wheels painted black, so that's what I did. Yeah, this skin was, uh, you know, it seems simple enough. Just throw some script on a truck. But holy cow, I was working on it. Oh, just to put script on a black truck. Probably took me, looking at the clock over there in the wall. Uh, seven, eight, probably about eight hours. Uh, the reason is the script is very distinctive. I tried my best to get it right. Uh, I had to make some of the letters on that Albuquerque because I couldn't find the same script as they had on the images I saw. And same with the RD trucking, I had to modify some of those letters from a script I found. And uh, oh, up to 75, I'll go 75 again here. Um, what else? 
the, oh yeah, the script with all the uh, licensing and registration info on the side of the truck. I took a while of messing around to find something to work for there. After 50 yards, exit right ahead. And then you can see where I have 260 on the back corners of the cab. Exit right ahead. Those numbers are actually split in half. Half of the numbers on the back of the cab and the other half is on the side. I, uh, I don't know if I've gone this way under here before. That's going to be interesting. Oops, get that Jake off there. Now what are we doing, Laurie? She isn't doing this to me because I took a wrong turn. Well, that won't be good. Uh oh. Not sure why we're going back this way. I must have missed a turn. She said turn left. <laughs> I think that's what I heard. Let's look at that. Yeah. Oh man, these cars are going to just keep coming. We're going to have to go out after this guy. I had the windows down. Oops, put them up. Ah, it's got quite a drone. Okay. Put the windows down a little. 
little bit and let some of that out. I'm liking this truck. It's uh, been a long time since I drove it, so I don't even know if I've done a video with it. I must have done so many videos. <laughs> if not, well, it's about time. And I guess D-Link's going to have his Superliner uh, with a sleeper coming out real soon. get used to these uh, a huge gear spacing on the downshifts huh oh it's an extended green pod going the other way I got to work on those numbers on the rear of the cab like half of it being on the side and half it on the back they're distorted a little bit I guess I'll have to figure out which way the distortion goes and make my numbers distorted the opposite way. Oh no, Aston Martin behind us. <laughs> sort of cool. Where'd he go? There he is. I was going to grab, uh, like I have uh, Tyrone's um, polar tanker, I was going to grab that, grab that, but I thought, gee, let's keep this uh, something that, well, other than the Z-Mod engines, keep right. is all free. So, if anybody's wondering what's going on with the shift pattern with the 10 speed, um, you got uh, it's a 5 speed twice. And you're uh, starting off back here, his first gear is low, like low in uh, 18 speed. So you start there and you go 5 gears. You bring up the range selector and put it back in the first hole again and go again. So you get that big jump from way over here, fifth all the way back to the first hole, and uh, it looks kind of weird. Oh, gonna hit the guardrail. So um, yeah, when you're empty, you you don't have a load on. Like if you want, if you're on a hill or whatever, depending which what you load it like, like you just go. Um, third gear, fifth gear, back to uh, sixth gear, and seven, eight, nine, ten, or whatever. It's like you split gears by skipping the gates. You need to do that in a 13 or 18 too. But here's your only way to do it because you don't have a. Well, I mean, you got it. That's the only way to do it in any transmission, I guess. But on a 18 speed, like you're not splitting 
and you move the stick, that's skipping a gear, or a, a split, in other words. So half a gear, you skip it by just moving the stick here. It's your whole gear, and that's all you got. Should go inside the truck for a bit. Too bad we cruised up here so fast. Could have. Uh, there's going to be that down to one lane up there, but that's a long ways away. Around the corner up there. So there we just went uh, first, third, fifth, sixth. So I got, uh, <laughs> you know me, I can't leave things alone. And, uh, this is, uh, it's um, Zmod's uh, Mac engine, but it's, I, of course I've hopped it up. <laughs> Can't help myself. So this is equivalent to this is my medium haul engine, and the reason we got it in here is uh, the 10 speed and that mountain road coming up. I have a sneaking suspicion we're going to need it. Yeah, in case you missed it last time, I'll do that first, third, fifth, sixth thing again. You got to wait quite a while to sh for the engine to slow down enough to get, you know, your 500 RPM to get that shift in. Get to come back to the first hole. I, I go from, you know, the the uh, second gear gate or first gear gate over to here is a downshift and move the range selector down. Think, oops, thinking I'm going to be in uh, the gear I want, but I want to be back here in the first hole. <laughs> That's uh, shifting all the gears. See, it wastes time shifting the gears because the last time I got a run on that guy, and uh, by skipping gears, but that didn't uh, didn't work this time. managed to go to sixth gear that time. <laughs> Yay me. Here comes a CLT. Nice paint job.
Okay, so what else is different on this paint job? Yeah, it's just about it. The uh, the bits I mentioned. Oh, I did the. Uh, I tr I gotta try again to get a better color for that um, bolt bar because uh, I just his is like a brushed or it looks aluminum or sort of silvery. So I gotta find the right color of silver for it because it's not chrome and it's not black. So I just picked that color for a painted bull bar. Everything else is sorry easy because it's just black. <laughs> and this is uh, this truck is an advanced truck skin in the the main bo body and everything. If you got script on stuff, it gets written all over the truck. If you use a simple truck skin, and you got to paint the truck body separately from all the accessories. Those wheels are so shiny, the, the rim, oops, looks like it's, oh, 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 looks chrome. But do they have chrome rims on them? No, I don't think so. They're supposed to be, yeah, it's just straight black. Depends on the light. We'll look at them again when we get to the uh, delivery. There's an old Mac on the other side of the road there. It could be an R700 too. It's got dual lights. This one I did the paint job for a single light only because that's what the truck was. The uh, rubber duck truck was a single light. See, there's a dual light R700. I saw when I was looking for a fuel load. I don't know how about it's quieter. I saw when I was looking for a fuel load that uh, Recon has. Uh, oh, this the other day. This is where I was following that train forever from way back there to all the way, and I got on the road up here. But anyway, uh, Recon has got uh, fuel deliveries to Welker Farms too now. Just so you know. So if you want to get into the fuel delivery, delivering diesel. And that's what we have on here is diesel. And I guess um, recon set. So it's diesel, which makes sense. It's not going to be burning gasoline up there. So he can set the uh, job. Yeah, so I, I drove beside that train. I did a screenshot, put it up on Steam from way down the road here. All the way back the other way to... Uh, where they, uh, they split off, which is it's quite a distance. Okay, we're getting close to our turn. Yeah, when I came and joined the track there, I joined with the train and we split further up the road. And it was kind of cool because, you know, we were, there was an ebb and flow between us and I was driving it hard. And, uh, Pretty sure this is where I'm turning. Oh, one more. Yeah, this is the first time I brought a load into this site, so super excited about this. I almost went for the wrong gear there the last second I I almost went over here instead of back here. But 
But I like those old uh, vintage Alcoas. They look really good on the B61. I might do a video with the B61 if uh, I don't know what you guys think of that. Is that too old in truck or? Oh, here's that crazy corner. Oh. See, that's for not having a... You're going to really have to be careful what I'm doing on this road. Not having the ability to... So see, one thing you do, or I do anyway, in the game, is when I'm in a situation where I think we're going to have trouble up ahead and I'm going to need at least half a gear I'll make sure I'm in a uh, even number gear like in the 18 speed of, yards, turn right. and you're going to in your in trouble zone like 12, 10, 8 that means you can just pull the splitter back and get half a gear and get yourself out of a tough spot and uh, if you're in an uneven gear like 7 nine whatever you can't you don't have a split available you're gonna have to move the stick to, to even if you just want to have a split but I mean you're gonna be going down you're gonna lose speed you might as well go a full gear at that point so anyway here we are going up the hill the sun setting you're going low it's perfect soon we're going to have that downhill thing and a really ugly uphill so it'll be the here we go I guess we'll get a run at it I don't know how big a run I want to get because we're going to be doing a lot of shifting down here I was afraid of with this transmission. Darn it. Okay. Well, let's uh, <laughs> steep it. Is. Put her in low, low. Our first gear. So you get in that situation. If you put your parking brake on, put a load on it, and then hit the parking brake, you can get going. Yeah, I kind of knew I was going to get in trouble there with this transmission, but I wanted to see how I would do. I see those wheels are just all black. It's just a shine on them. Oh, man. Couldn't get the shift in. Come on. There we go. Yeah, those Smarties wheels are really cool. Those old vintage five-hole Alcoas. Look really good on the trailer. Oh man, you know what? I gotta take a screenshot, my bad. I'm not going to do it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Got to have something for the uh, cover of the, uh, the video. 
That'll work. Uh, there we go. Thanks for indulging me. Come on. There we go. Gravel. I should hop in and see what the lights look like. Looks like there's a few more trees along here. Maybe it's just night time. Well, we didn't get to hurry up, so missing that turn at Albuquerque. <laughs> uh, that's a Bugs Bunny line. Um, I don't think hurt us too bad. Unless I... No, no, I would have seen the warning come up on the screen. Okay, so uh, let's see what we got to do here. Oh, right over here on the right. Oh, that's cool. I gotta just swing my headlights over here so I can just see what's going on over here. Oh yeah, there's the fuel storage tanks recon put in in the back there. There's old Tex wandering around in the background there. Now the thing with these five speed or er, five speeds, if if you go for uh the high speed backup, you're really going fast. Like where you put it in high range reverse. I very rarely did it in. Oh, he's walking through the truck. Where'd he go? Oh, I thought I saw him. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe I was just imagining things. That was old Tex. Well, there we have it. We uh, we made it in with a, with a 10 speed. Oh, there he goes. I wonder if that's the same dude. I thought he walked through the truck. Um, that's all off. Lights. Nothing else. Brakes are on. All right. Wow. Yeah, the realistic fuel economy. Uh, 413 miles. That's because I, I made a wrong turn. But good money, 36,000. Nice. Very nice. Hazmat delivery bonus, 139 XP. Cool. Oh, yeah, so there's a look at the truck. It's, um, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, those rims are black. There's no chrome on them. It's just a shine. Anyway, um, <clears throat> Thanks very much, guys, for uh, following along and uh, subscribing and whatnot. I'm just over the moon at how this thing is going. It's great. So uh, just can't thank you enough. And uh, I really appreciate uh, that you take some of your time to spend some time with me. And it uh, means a lot. So thank you. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. 
And who knows, there might be another Mac in it, but uh, it may not be this one. We'll see. <laughs> Take care, guys, and bye for now. Thank you.